Welcome back from the break. You're still watching this morning on Metro TV. I am Desmond Dukre Kudas. You can call me Desifelian this time, but it's time for us to talk. And uh, we're talking about the youth. Very, very important. But this time it's about all the pressures, how to deal with the stress, how to deal with everything that is wrong in society that affects us as youth. And this morning, my guest is Thomas Kwame Nimo. He's a clinical psychologist and also, I could say, a youth advocate of a sort. Yes, and uh, he's joining us. So we have this discussion. Good morning, Thomas. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Desi. Good morning. Good to see you. Last week, <laughs> we had a very good conversation via Zoom, yeah. but this time we are in studio. Let's begin again with the one issue that a lot of the youth are dealing with, that is unemployment. How is this really, really affecting the youth of today? Well, Desi, thanks for having me at the studio. Um, thing is that um, we live in the easiest of times. If we took somebody from the 80s to join us now, time travel, that person would look at us and think, oh, look at all the tech you use. I mean, this is the easiest time in human yeah. history, really. But then it's also the most complex because then now we have what we call, what I would call the meaning pandemic okay. going on that we actually look out for meaning in almost everything that we do. So in relationships, am I mm -hmm. happy? Whereas in the past, you were just put in a relationship to, you know, um, have children and guard and safeguard the property that your mm. parents have. True. In recent times, you have people that have to pursue careers and all that, even challenging their family and their parents because they don't think that, you know, that's the right course of action for them. Mm. The problem is that the freedom that we have now as youth is also the problem that we have, because then now we have to go through life and try as much as possible to fervently pursue our goals and aims such that, you know, we'll just keep juggling if which one works and at which time. And we also don't have the luxury of time to do that. Mm. So it's a complex issue, yeah. but then it's, it's something that, if we can navigate together, can actually bring a lot of purpose and meaning into our lives as youth. I mean, in your interaction as a clinical psychologist, I'm sure you, you get lots of people coming in with such issues and on top of it will, will be unemployment. Yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, um, thing is, at every stage in everybody's life, I mean, if we take a normative group, mm. at every stage in um, the life of those normative groups, they have things that they are pursuing. So for instance, if you take a child, like I was telling you last week, last week if you take a child, while the child is growing up, that child is pursuing experiences, knowing how the world is. At our age, what we'll be pursuing is meaning. Um, how we would look at life and say we are happy with what we are doing. Mm. Being productive, earning money yeah. and love and all those things. Um, when you take a 60-year-old, a 70-year-old, what those people would be looking out for is if they contributed meaningfully to society and if they were happy in the end. So... In this critical age of, of our lives where we are pursuing productivity, we're pursuing um, a lot of our passions and desires, the, the effort that we put into also translates as how much hurt that comes to us if those efforts are not, you know, given. Yeah, given us the results. Exactly. We need. So then you have people that because of um, the things that, you know, how much interviews they've attended, for instance, how much... Um, of heartbreak they've seen in their lives and all that. Because of that, they tend to, you know, recoil and then have problems moving on, as in thinking through life and, um, you know, pursuing meaning in, 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 in essence. Mm -hmm. So the challenge is that if you keep on going through life thinking about what, you know, I would do to bring me meaning, that is the most important bit. But then th there would be a challenge afterwards, which would be that, the efforts that you'd be putting into it would actually have to commensurate with the, the, the returns that the you're returns getting. That exactly. You're getting. I think a lot of the youth now, I mean, as they say, adulthood has come. <laughs> the, the orientation into getting yeah. into this particular stage of our lives, I don't think that we usually get that orientation. You know what? You're getting into this particular stage. So you, lots of us get disappointed with what we get to face in, yeah. in, in, a, in, in this period of our, yeah. of our life. And I like that song, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean... Talking about it, it's, it's a complex situation we mm. find ourselves in. And we're saddled with also the changes that are going on with us. I mean, okay. growth. Some of us are new to adulthood and what it means to be an adult and all that. And so then we would consistently look at life as a complex um, structure. 
that we're trying to navigate society's pressures pressure from home mm -hmm. i mean um, the youth recently some of them have to start providing for their aged parents and all that yeah. and that can be a little complex so we're talking about stress and it's the whole nine yards like everything that comes with stress i mean the physiological effects of stress um, the psychological effects of stress the anxiety the depression the um, the loneliness which is also a very, very big deal that comes out of stress, the loss of identity. I mean, you recently have a lot of youth because of unemployment having a low self-esteem and thinking of themselves as, you know, people that are not worthy of anything in society. Also, when you see your colleagues Ex progressing well, and all know, that. Yeah. And so you, you, you realize that even the masculinity in men is dwindling. So then people recently, I... I speaking to people, I realized that men are losing what, you know, because people are not really pursuing um, social structures and like the normative, mm. what we have to be doing in society. So then, because for instance, Desi has a 20, 20 what year old, you should be working, you should be producing, you should be earning something. And if you're not doing that, you develop a low self-esteem and going forward, can't even pursue love, can't pursue relationships, can't pursue other things that are very important, mm -hmm. like I was saying in this year, yeah. in this season of your life. And then in, eventually you become very depressed when, when you're aged and old. The issue will linger on for a very long time. I mean, so how do we go about it? How should we deal with it? So last week I was giving you a little bit mm, of the pointers yeah, yeah. as to what to do. Um, truth is that... All these things are about growth. Okay. So then the little incremental growths that you make in your life can translate into bigger ones. So what am I saying? It's like we now live in an obesity pandemic. Like everybody's getting fat and <laughs> everybody's getting big. And that's because we are not moving a lot. Mm. And so first of all, if we tackle our issues from the point where we're exercising a lot lately, we put in a lot of effort into our body and how it looks. That in itself can translate in the confidence that we would have in ourselves and also trying to you know, go out there to show up. Okay. And then it comes to my second point, which is showing up. Showing up is very, very quintessential because then it's about you pursuing life and looking at life as um, a step. So at every step, you need to be available. So opening yourself and readying yourself up for every like, bump on the way and every step in the way is what you know, our time and challenges that face us has to be dealt with, if you understand yeah. what I'm saying. So like, if, you are, if you have challenges in your life and you're not showing up, if there's unemployment in your life and you're not showing up for interviews, you're not upgrading your skills, you're not um, asking the necessary questions, then it's a problem. Do, mm -hmm. do people often come to you do people come saying, is, is it uh, something that happens to us that, you know, the youth especially come seek, you know, uh, how, uh, how psychological, people, support. psychological support? From, from, yes, from yes, yes. Um, so mental health these days has caught on. People are concerned about their mental health, mm. which is good. And so there's a lot of conversations about how, like I was saying, we can pursue meaning and purpose in life and happiness. Um, in, in, the, in the long run. So yes, I, we get a lot of youth coming through and talking about their problems. And it's quite impressive how much they are willing to open up and actually have the conversation about life and meaning and about themselves. Um, so talking about unemployment, mm -hmm. again, it's also a part of a, a systemic problem. So if you, somebody comes to you and is talking about their depression and is talking about um, their suicidal tendencies, yeah. they, give you, they, they give you as part of their symptoms the fact that they are not doing anything and you know, life is basically just raw for, for them for and them. They, they, they don't see anything going and coming. So then we tackle the unemployment issue with these conversations. Okay. Well, we are wrapping up. Um, Let's, let's take this as your consulting room. <laughs> and 30 seconds, just say something, something to encourage anybody watching this morning. I mean, you know, come right there. Yeah. Um, so, people are doors. Mm. People are access. Um, it's a problem that you sit in your Trotsky and then look on your phone and you're not talking to the person next to you. 
I mean, these days, if you sit in any public area, you barely have people saying hi to you. You need to ask questions because people are access. So ask the next person sitting next to you, what do you do? What are you interested in? And then through those conversations, you'd realize that there's a lot of impact that these people can make in your lives. And moving forward, you'd realize how much um, information you'd have out of knowing another person. Thank you so much, Thomas, for You're joining welcome. us this morning. It's been You're great welcome. talking to um, Thomas Kwame Nimo. He's a clinical psychologist and also a youth advocate. Um, see, it's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not easy. I've got to pull through. You've got to show up. That's what I took from Show up and just get it done. Show up. If you never show up, there are never any possibilities. Yes. If you don't show up, there are no possibilities. So that's it for the morning.